half of this country is made up of forests. Today we're diving into Europe's lesser-known gem found in between Russia, Ukraine, Poland, Lithuania and Latvia. Stay tuned to explore the diverse population, stunning landscapes and fusion of Eastern Slavic traditions that make Belarus a captivating destination worth exploring. Belarus is a landlocked country located in Eastern Europe, bordering Russia, Ukraine, Poland, Lithuania and Latvia. With a total area of 207,600 square kilometers, it is larger than Austria but smaller than Kansas. The country extends 560 kilometers from north to south and 650 kilometers from west to east. Belarus has a transitional climate between continental and maritime. Winters are cold while summers are warm. The topography consists largely of hilly plains with higher ground in the south and lower terrain in the north. Forests cover about one third of the country. The main river is the Dnieper along with tributaries like the Pripyat, Berezina and Divina rivers. There are also over 10,000 lakes throughout the country. In terms of natural resources, Belarus has modest reserves of petroleum, natural gas, iron ore, granite, dolomite, potash and peat. About one-third of the land is fertile. Forests are an important resource, covering around 40% of the country. The wood and paper industries significantly contribute to the economy. The territory that is now Belarus was settled by Baltic tribes in the 3rd century. It was eventually invaded by various groups including the Huns, Avars, Slavs and Kievan Rus. In the 13th century, the territory was subject to raids by the Mongols. Afterward, it was annexed by the Grand Duchy of Lithuania. In the Union of Lublin of 1569, the Lithuanian Grand Duchy and the Kingdom of Poland merged to form the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Belarus became part of the Commonwealth. In the 17th and 18th centuries, wars with Russia, Sweden and the Ottoman Empire led to the decline of the Commonwealth. During the partition of Poland in the late 18th century, the territory of Belarus was divided between Russia and Germany. After Napoleon's invasion in 1812, most of the country became part of the Russian Empire. Under Russian rule, Belarusian language and culture were suppressed in favor of Russian language and culture. Belarus declared independence in March 1918 during the turmoil of World War I and the Russian Revolution. It was soon occupied by the Red Army and then Nazi Germany during World War II. After the war, it was reincorporated into the Soviet Union. As a Soviet Republic, Belarus underwent rapid industrialization and collectivization, as well as suffering Stalinist purges in the 1930s. During World War II, the country was occupied by Nazi Germany, which destroyed many towns and killed a large portion of the population. They declared independence in August 1991, after the failed coup against Gorbachev and the dissolution of the Soviet Union. Under President Lukashenko, who has ruled since 1994, Belarus has had limited democratization and remained aligned with Russia politically and economically. The World Bank estimates that Belarus' total population is about 9 million as of 2022. Belarusians make up more than four-fifths of the country's population. They are an East Slavic ethnic group closely related to Russians and Ukrainians. Russians are the second largest ethnic group, making up roughly 9% of the population. They mostly lived in cities and moved to the country during the Soviet era. Poles are the third largest group at about 3% of the population. Ukrainians, Jews, Armenians, Tatars and Roma make up smaller percentages of the population. The majority religion in Belarus is Eastern Orthodox Christianity with around 80% of believers. The Belarusian Orthodox Church is the largest denomination. 
Roman Catholicism is practiced by around 10% of the population, mainly among the Polish and Lithuanian minorities. Minorities practice other religions like Judaism and Islam. The two official languages are Belarusian and Russian. Belarusian is an East Slavic language and the native language of the Belarusian people. Russian is spoken by most Belarusians and is the main language used in education and government. The Belarusian language faced heavy Russification policies during the Soviet era. Many Belarusians are bilingual in both Belarusian and Russian. Belarus has a state-controlled economy featuring both socialist and market-oriented aspects. The World Bank estimates its GDP at around $72 billion as of 2022. Agriculture accounts for about 7% of its GDP and employs 9% of the workforce, with main crops including potatoes, vegetables, flax and beef cattle. Industries such as machine building, metal processing and manufacturing agricultural equipment constitutes 40% of economic output. The government exerts considerable control through state-owned enterprises, five-year economic plans and price regulation on certain goods and services. Belarus receives discounted oil and gas from Russia in exchange for cooperation on political and economic matters. This enables subsidies to impact the cost of living. Foreign trade focuses on Russia and other former Soviet states, but it seeks to expand global trade partnerships and attract foreign direct investment to modernize industries. Belarus has been under the authoritarian rule of President Alexander Lukashenko since 1994. The political system is dominated by the presidency and lacks free democratic elections, a functional parliament, independent media and civil liberties. Lukashenko has held on to power for over 25 years through repression, vote rigging and suppressing dissent. He has resisted reforms and maintained many Soviet-style policies while pursuing integration with Russia. The regime cracked down brutally on major protests after the widely disputed 2020 election that gave Lukashenko a sixth term as president. Belarus has a presidential republic with a national assembly, but real power lies with the president. Elections are neither free nor fair, as the opposition faces harassment and major candidates are often barred from running. The judiciary lacks independence and human rights abuses are widespread under Lukashenko's extensive security apparatus. The pro-democracy opposition in Belarus faces constant repression but remains active and vocal. Main opposition leaders have been exiled or imprisoned but continue speaking out against the regime from abroad. Grassroots opposition keeps emerging, as seen in the 2020 to 2021 protests and the Belarusian cyber partisans hacking Lukashenko's regime. Belarus has a rich cultural heritage that encompasses visual arts, literature, music and festivals. In the visual arts, Belarusian folk crafts involve textile arts like embroidery, weaving and lace making. Painting originated in the Middle Ages with religious icon painting and continued into the modern era with artists like Jacek Drazdowicz who pioneered Belarusian avant-garde art. Belarusian literature flowered in the 16th century and authors like Francisk Skarina helped develop the language. Leading poets include Janka Kupala and Jakub Kolas who helped establish literary Belarusian in the early 20th century. The works of novelists like Vasil Bikau and Uladzimir Karatkevich are considered classics of modern Belarusian literature. Throughout the year, Belarusians celebrate various festivals showcasing music, dance, food and crafts. Maslenitsa is a celebration to mark the end of winter featuring blini pancakes. Kupali celebrates the summer solstice with singing and bonfires. 
Zayadi is an ancient rite to commemorate ancestors that have become a tribute to Belarusian history and identity. Belarusian cuisine shares similarities with Russian, Polish and Lithuanian food traditions. But it also has some unique dishes that reflect the country's climate, agricultural products and cultural influences. Here are a few dishes found in the country. A popular soup is sorrel soup made from the tangy sorrel plant. It has a distinctive sour taste and often contains eggs, potatoes, carrots and meat like beef or pork. Sorrel grows abundantly in Belarus and is used in many dishes. The tart green color and creamy texture make this a beloved starter. Nalisniki are thin crepes or pancakes stuffed with a sweet or savory filling and then rolled up. Sweet versions contain fillings like fresh berries, jam, cottage cheese or chocolate. Savory nalisniki are filled with mashed potatoes, ground meat, cabbage, mushrooms and onions. Nalisniki makes for a comforting main meal or dessert. Serniki are patties made of tvorog, which is a type of strained cottage cheese in Eastern European cuisines. The tvorog is combined with eggs, flour and sugar and then fried into pancake-like patties. Sirniki are often served with sour cream or fruit compote on the side. These tasty, protein-rich patties make a filling breakfast. Babka is a sweet yeasted cake, typically baked in a bunt pan. Recipes vary, but common additions include raisins, almonds, cocoa, citrus zest, and a rum or vodka soak for the cake. Sweet, buttery babka is often served for birthdays, holidays, and special occasions in Belarus. It goes perfectly with a cup of coffee or tea. If you enjoyed this video about Belarus, you'll love this next one of this.